Hello, Flight Sim community. Welcome to another episode of 2020 Flight Simmers. Today we are at London Stansted Airport. This is a custom airport, handcrafted, by the way, for free on flightsim.to. I will post a link down below if you haven't checked out this airport. Uh, it is amazing, so I highly suggest you do so. But if this is your first time joining us on the channel, I would love to welcome you and also suggest you go down below and hit that subscribe button, tick that little bell, and smash that thumbs up. It really helps out the channel and lets us know we're doing a good job. And also, you don't want to miss any of our future videos like this one. So today's video is all about the Cessna Citation Longitude. We're also using a add-on for this as well. It's the Longitude FDE fix. I believe we're on version 1.85 at the moment. Uh, so the video is going to be quick and easy. We're going to hop in the cockpit, show you how to get this thing started from a cold and dark. And um, we will be going over the G3000-5000 unit in a future video. All right, so let's go ahead and hop in the cockpit. Because this is not a study level a level aircraft, um, this is going to be kind of quick, but we will go over uh, all the functionality of all the buttons and uh, what they do. All right, so uh, let's get in the cockpit now. I'll be using Track IR to help out with the situation today. Uh, so the first thing uh, that we really need to do is get rid of these yokes so we can see everything a little bit easier. Uh, once you get up in the air, you can turn them back on to... Uh, get that realism back. Uh, first thing uh, you want to do here is go down here to the standby and flick that into the on position and turn on your right and left batteries. Uh, that'll go ahead and get some power to the aircraft and for this purposes only uh, we're going to go ahead and turn on the external power as well. This way it won't kill our batteries in the aircraft. So starting along the top here uh, these are our landing lights, taxi lights, the recog and the pulse light panel switches, floods, and our emergency. So we're going to hit that in the arm position. This is the uh, wing light and uh, actually I believe it's for ice and the anti-collision. So we'll go ahead and turn the anti-collision on. This is our tail flood. We don't really need that on right now, but we will turn on the pulse and the recog light because we're going to get ready and fire up the APU. Uh, let's go ahead and now we're not going to do any programming here on the uh, GPS uh, But we're just going to go ahead and get this thing started now So the first thing we need to do to get this thing started is to come down to the APU Hit that in the start position If you come down here on the center iPad area, you will see the APU spooling up now once this gets to 100%, uh, what you're going to want to do is come down here to the APU generator, hit that in the reset, and then slap it in the on position. You always want to make sure that you have your bus tie closed at this point. This way it's going to supply power to both sides as the APU is only on one side. So that's why you would want to keep it closed. Uh, once we get everything fired up, we'll hit it in the open position. This way each side will run independently. Uh, but for now, let's go ahead and hit that reset and hit on. As you'll see, we've got a massive surplus here in power. We can go ahead and turn the external power off now. And we still have a little bit of surplus, so that is good to go. All right, so now that we've got the APU running, now would be your time that you would start entering your entire flight plan into the flight computer. So we're going to imagine that we've done all that already. Um, and now we're going to go for engine start. So to start these engines, it is pretty simple. We're going to come right down here to the fuel valve switch and hit that into the open position. Then we will come and hit this button right here for the right hand starter. You will notice the lights turn off under these covers. We're going to come back forward and monitor the N2 percentage on engine 2. Once that hits about 20%, then we're going to come back down below here lift the cover and hit the run button go ahead and close that cover back up again we'll then monitor this and, uh, until that engine stabilizes and once that is done so we will then turn on the generator for the right engine 
So this goes pretty quickly. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, feel free to uh, post them down in the comments below. I'd be more than happy to answer those for you. And thanks for watching. And if you'd like to see any more in-depth videos of the uh, Cessna Longitude, uh, go ahead and post them down below as well, and I will try to get those made for you. All right, so it looks like we've uh, just about stabilized here. And again, it probably wouldn't be this quick in the real aircraft, I can imagine. Uh, but we're going to come down and turn the generator to the reset and then in the on position. Okay, so the next thing uh, that we want to do is get the left engine started. So we come down here and hit the left engine starter. And again, we will come up here and monitor the N2 percentage until we get up to about 20%. Now we're just about there, so we'll come back down here. We'll lift that cover and go into the run position. And again, we're going to wait till this engine spools up and stabilizes. Once that is done so, we will go ahead and turn on the left gen. At that point, we will turn off the APU generator, the standby battery, and we will shut down the APU. All right, so it looks like uh, we have stabilized on the left engine, so we'll come down here and turn gen down into reset and then put it up in the on position, turn off our standby power and turn off the APU gen. You'll notice we're still under a surplus. We can also open the bus tie now as well, and you'll see these change on you. So this way they're powered independently at this point, and we come down here to the APU and shut that off. Now, it may or may not be the right procedure to uh, turn this bus tie in the open position right now. I'm sure somebody's going to correct me. And we can come here and see that the APU is ramping down right now. And that, my friends, is it. So we have just successfully started the Cessna Citation Longitude from a cold and dark. Next video, we will go about uh, how to program our flight plan into the G3000-5000 unit, and we are also using uh, the working title mod for that as well. So, again, we'll get into that in a future video, but for now, thanks all for watching. If you haven't done so already, please go down there, hit subscribe, tick that little bell, smash that thumbs up button, and as always, keep the blue side up. See you in the next one.